on this episode of Counting Cars. How can we help? So we need a badass car okay. that will raise tons of money okay. so we can get the word out there about NF2 so we can help every single person that has this horrible, awful disease. Tell me what you think. Oh, that is incredible. Is it? Woo! Shannon, come on, man, bring it out! Ryan, my man, bring it out, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. This is Counting Cars. Man, my shop is always busy, but right now it is straight up crazy. Everywhere I look in this place, there's a project going on. On top of that, I got a couple coming in right now from Miami. They want to add to the fun because they got a project that they want to do. I'm anxious to sit down with them and hear all the details. Well, come on in here to the shop. We'll, uh, we'll look at some stuff and you guys kind of tell me what you got in mind. So come on in, you guys. This is... Uh, a portion of Count's Customs. This is, you know, this is the one of the work areas. And, you know, we, we do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. For instance, something I'm proud of would be my crazy van. Uh, it's this is a this is a personal thing of mine, and uh, you know, we kind of go nuts with anything you want. So I'm not sure what what you're looking for. Well, Danny, I'm basically looking to give you a blank check. I uh, like that. I just want <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I understand why. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, but I'm looking. What do you want? I'm looking for something badass. We're looking okay. to uh, we're looking to raise a lot of money. Our daughter Sky, she was just recently diagnosed with a disease called NF2. It's no, also known. Familiar. Yeah, no one's ever heard of this disease. It's also called neurofibromatosis type two. So basically, tumors just grow all over your body. Oh my lord. Um, and there's really not much you can do about it. I am so sorry to hear this. Sky currently she has a brain tumor. She has a tumor in each of her ears. She has a big tumor in her chest, and she has nine tumors on her spine. So and what these tumors do is they just grow and grow, and then they'll start to do damage. And once the damage is done, it's irreversible. Man, oh man, God bless you so guys. That's why we're here. Strength. So we're gonna make a difference. And you guys are gonna <laughs> make a difference also. Okay, so now how can we help? So we need a badass car okay. that will raise tons of money. Okay. So we can get the word out there about NF2. So we can help every single person that has this horrible, awful disease. I'm sure we can raise a bunch of money. It would yeah. be our honor yeah. to do this. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. let's get uh, let's get yeah. on with what with what we can do to help. Let's yes. build something really cool. Man, I cannot imagine what this family is going through right now with this, but I know one thing. Uh, we are going to do everything we can to make this project special. They want to turn this extremely unfortunate situation into something positive, and frankly, that's what I'm all about right now with this. We're going to build them a gorgeous car, raise as much money as we can for this charity, and raise as much awareness as we can for this horrible disease. God bless you guys on your quest for this. Yeah. From the bottom of my heart, I got to say, I know they call you the Count, but you're a true prince in my book. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Come on All right, with good me. Times. Come on with you me. Guys are strong, Absolutely. Strong Absolutely. Folks. And if yeah. it happens to be, you know, fast, uh, yeah. that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it will be. Come all this right. way. We'll go to the office. <laughs> Look at that. A while back, we had a customer walk in to talk to us about redoing his 1954 Pan Am. Today is the day he's brought it in, and I'm in love with this thing just the way it sits. But Shannon's gonna give it the once over. I'm gonna come up with a nice classy paint job that makes this thing timeless and just badass. It's a 54 panhead. Oh, that would look so beautiful in my garage. That Hold was on. two kicks, Hold man, on. two kicks. No, and a spray can. Yeah, I'll carry a spray can, I don't care. <laughs> in 1954, Harley-Davidson celebrated its 50th anniversary by releasing the Hydroglide named for its telescopic front end. However, no one called it a Hydroglide. These bikes are exclusively, to this day, referred to as panheads after the engine rocker covers that resemble cooking pans. Harley-Davidson had another reason to celebrate 1954 with its only American competitor, Indian Motorcycles, closing its doors the year before. The Harley Panhead had become America's most popular touring bike, solidifying Harley as America's premier motorcycle manufacturer 
for the next 46 years. What's with the rear tire and wheel? It's a 15-inch rim. That's why it looks like that. Oh. 15-inch with a oh, big, oh, fat tire. This thing is getting cooler oh. and cooler. Big, fat tire for old school bike. What are we doing to it? Just complete teardown paint job and changing some things, keeping the pipes, the fender the way it is with that strut. The color of the rims, he wants chrome and stainless. And that front end is pissing him off. It's not the right front end at all. Yeah. He's like real adamant about changing these triple trees, but it's got three degrees of rake in it. And it's, I ain't putting rake cups in it. No. So it's gonna have to be either survey car trees or try and find some aftermarket old school trees. Do you know what you look like on this thing? You make this thing look tiny. I never make bikes look good. You make this thing look like a tinker toy. I wouldn't care. <laughs> He's keeping the seat. He wanted okay. to redo it. I'm like, dude, it's perfectly worn. It's exactly in. what's supposed to be on here. What color do you want to go to? Silver. Ooh, a big, grainy, chunky silver. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. What? Yeah. Big, chunky? Really? Yeah. Dude, down and dirty and beautiful at the same time. Flaked out? No, 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 not flake. Just the biggest metallic I can find. That's flake. But not flake. Flake is not metallic. There's metallic and there's flake. I want chunky metallic. Why not sleek and slender? Chunky. Big. Chunky, grainy silver. Sleek and slender. It's, no. it's not a chunky no. bike. No, it's chunky. No. Big, fat, chunky flight. Chunky. Chunky. Ah. Sleek and slender. Remember what a snowmobile looked like? Yeah. <laughs> well, I ain't been around one in a while. Holy <laughs> moly. Isn't that thing crazy looking, dude? Looks like it looks like it's out of a Predator movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely an amazing piece. Holy I know. Crap. Dude, I have no idea. It looks like a stunt mobile. The suspension travel is massive on this thing. I know. Holy mackerel. It looks so just uh, futuristic and hardcore and just tough, man. In 1927, Carl Eliasson patented what would become known as the first workable single track one passenger snowmobile. Today's snow machines are works of mechanical engineering artistry. The Ski-Doo 850 E-Tech has a Powder Max Light Flex Edge track guided by dual pivoting skis and a 165 horsepower two-stroke engine topping out at 7,900 RPMs. It carves through snow like a butcher knife. All that on a lightweight cast aluminum frame and your next glacial expedition will be a ride to remember. Dude, look at the back of this thing. I mean, all of this crazy suspension track and this track. Talk about digging in the snow, man. Right. This is this is unbelievable. Man, I dig this. I got to, you know, I got to, yeah, I got to, I got to try this on, man. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Hey, man. I'm like ready to hit the snow. <laughs> ready to hit the slopes, man. So this is going to a casino in Lake Tahoe. Yeah, that's correct. As a, as a prize. Right. We're not doing any mechanical work on this. It's no. a brand new unit. Yep. They just want a custom paint job. They want a custom paint job, but they asked me to keep it toned down. They sent us something that looks like it's from the most insane futuristic movie. How do you tone this down? Right. And it's black. I mean, it's, it's as toned down as it gets right now. Yeah. So, I mean, they came to Count's Customs for a reason. I'll tell you what would be fun. We'll get with Ryan and we'll get with Horny Mike because Horny Mike does not know the definition of the words toned down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing, man. <laughs> Looks yeah. like a carnival ride. <laughs> Bright, colorful, and in your face. And Mike needs to learn how to start working with corporate clients. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And because, uh, you know, everything Mike does, he just does, you know, crazy. And this might be a good learning lesson for him as to how to do something that a corporate client would appreciate. <laughs> right. No green. No green. No horns. No, horns, <laughs> no giant yeah. skull crazy monster things hanging off yeah. of it. But this is a beautiful machine. I'm certain we're going to do something really cool with it. And it's accounts customs first. Right. We've never that, done a snowmobile before. That is for sure. Yeah. Perfect. Dig it, man. All right. Dig it. Cool. Definitely cool, cool, different. Cool. We shall ski do it. <laughs> mm. 
See, that's four. four. So as long as I don't hit a seven before I hit a four, I win. I'm telling you, you're gonna hit a seven. I'm gonna win. Four. four. You just lost everything. What in the world's going on, man? That's why nothing Six. gets done around win, here. Uh, I've seen this before. What are you hustling <laughs> for? A set of speakers and a drill. A set of speakers and a drill. <laughs> you guys, hey, we, we got have, so we many casinos space. down on the strip. You guys could be over. That's so horrible, what's man. Up? So what's wrong what's with up, this right? picture, man? What's, what's wrong with this picture? Nothing. What nothing. is going on, no, man? I didn't know. Just, well, I was showing Adam how to play craps. Not with Bob. Not with Bob, no. Anyways, there's something wrong here, and it's not the hustling going on. This particular work bay appears to be empty. I got something good to put in this work bay. I've got an amazing couple out of Miami, Florida. Uh, they want to build a car, but there's a reason. Uh, their daughter is suffering from some sort of an ailment that is pretty rare, and uh, this couple is looking to build a cool ride that they're gonna either auction off and or raffle off or something like that, and those proceeds are going to go 100% towards you know, research on, on this, on this uh, specific disease that they're looking for. But it's also gonna raise a lot of awareness. So the car that came into my head is my 1941 Buick. Right. Yeah, yeah, hmm? yeah, yeah, Solid yeah. car. Absolutely. I got this car from Greg, if you remember, a long time ago, and it was actually a running, driving car when I got it from him. I like it, Greg. I really do think it's perfect for you. Yeah. I'll do 8250. 8250 cash? All right. Done deal. Done deal. Done deal. I see the car in my mind as a combination of Miami street rod meets slightly lead sled. Uh, just because of that body style. Uh, so it's very drivable and enjoyable. 80s version modernized? Yes, updated with that kind of a vibe. Cool. And of course, so it's new, got- new AC, new new everything. Everything inside, right. it's gotta be fat. So it's a new car on the inside, basically. Exactly. So I really think that this is the right car that's gonna generate interest and generate money and awareness for their cause. Kevin, you, I, you know, I personally don't care about making money on this one. This is yeah. this is this is for a much greater cause yep. than business. Amen. Yeah, Amen. and so we need yeah. to just do a really cool thing for this to just get some people's attention. Cool. Awesome. This is a special one, man. It's all about the money. Not like you think, man. I saw the look in my guy's eyes. I know they're gonna work really hard to build a beautiful car for this family that's fighting this horrible disease. And I'm only hoping that we can raise some money and help them find the cure for this. Thanks, man. All Appreciate right. it, guys. You, you don't wanna play? We got, no, we no, 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 watch no. yourself, Adam. No. I'm trying to get my drill back, man. Nope. Wow, here you go. Seven, right Told out the you. gate. It's no way. I'm done with this. I'm I'll done. get back to work. You yeah. go rob somebody else. Yeah, all right. Hey, Ryan. Shannon! What up? Oh, perfect time. Perfect time for what? Lose my eyesight? Color sample for this bike. What, silver? Yeah! That's Big, it? Chunky, grainy silver. There's no chunky in that. It's grainy as hell, but it ain't no chunky. Oh, it's chunky. Trust me, it's the biggest metallic they make. Look at that. Look how it looks on that fender. Can I put this down? Yeah. Look, look at that. You can't tell me in the sun that that's just gonna be dead gorgeous. That's gonna look like a beacon. Yeah, you're gonna blind the rider while he's riding. Hey, no? I'm not responsible for that. I'm supposed to make it pretty. Trust me, dude, this bike is going to look gorgeous. So what am I gonna accent the, the rest of the bike with? Well, it's gonna have the black two-tone. I'm thinking it needs gold pinstripe around it, kind of like the old 40s and 50s Harley logos. So I'm putting a tank badge on here now? No, no tank badge, no badges. Okay. Just the old school logos. They used to hand paint those in. Yeah, it depends on what year, but they also had badges on the tanks. I, no badges, no badges. This will be one of the easiest accented bikes you've ever built in your life. I think if everything that you put on this bike is either black or chrome, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. It's like building a, a black and white photograph. But then you just put gold in it. That's, it's a neutral color, but it's enough that it stands out and brings a little class to it. Just trust me, you do you, do what you and the customer talked about. Don't worry about the paint. 
Trust me. You know, you're making my job harder. No, I made it easier. Think black and white photograph, and you can't go wrong. There's a lot can go wrong with a black and white photograph. Where's Ryan at? Is he around somewhere? Right here, boss. <laughs> I've had this big old Buick laying around my shop for years just waiting for the right client. Well, I got him now. This couple came to us from South Florida. They want to build a beautiful car that they're looking to auction off, raise money and awareness for a horrible disease that tragically their daughter is suffering from. So we're going to put the Count's Customs spin on this baby. We're going to make a gorgeous car and raise as much money as we can for their charity. This has got to be one of the nicest ones to come through these doors. It was a score, wouldn't you say? Throw some color on it and bounce. I know. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, creatively, where we're going to go with this car. You know, I, I can see there's a couple of things on this car that are so minor that are bothering me, and I'm not quite sure what to do with. One, the chin is really bugging me. It's just kind of, ugh. Blah. Yeah. So I don't know if we need to hang a bumper back on the front of this thing or roll it better. Bumper? Right. Bumper. Now here's, here's the one I'm going to shock you, dude. Here's the one I'm going to shock you. The trim, all this trim that runs all the way down the side, I'm thinking about letting Mike over at Fab fill in everything. Forget about finding all the trim. Okay. Let's just fill it and make it go away. Okay. But because we have this big, huge body line here <laughs> that makes a statement, whatever color we paint this car, we paint the moldings back on the side. Even better. Don't okay, all what right. if we did uh, a spun silver leaf molding so we still have a beveled looking like a molding. Beveled looking molding edge, but it's spun. Question now becomes, bro, what color are we going to do this car? How about a bright orange? Like a pearl orange. Even with the beveled edge molding, we can even work some of those accents in the hood and the trunk. You know what? Subtle. I see it. I can see this car. Yeah. A, like a really bright pearl orange. Keep it nice and simple. Clean, simple cruiser. Let's plan on that. Let's just do it. I am really digging what we got planned for this car, man. This Buick is going to be gorgeous. But what we don't know is who's actually going to own this car. It's going to auction. So we got to make sure we build a ride that everybody falls in love with so that it builds up more money at the auction. Because we want to raise as much money and awareness as we can to hopefully find a cure for this. I am really digging the way this car's coming out. I'm going to take this over to Mike over in the fab shop, and I will talk to him about the split bumpers and fill in, in all the holes, man. Then spend some time at a body shop, and she's yours. Dude, I love it. Great concept. Man, the paint team has been working really, really hard on making this snowmobile seriously sweet for the client. Now, I'm not a snowmobile guy, but my main man, Davey Deals, is. So I'm bringing him down to get his eyes on this thing. What's up, brother man? Come back. Kevin. Dude, I'm thank you for coming over, because if I get his stamp of approval, it's ready to rock. I got you over here because, number one, we've never done anything like this. Right. This is totally different. Yeah. Some so I really need stuff. your I need your stamp of approval. What this cool. is, it's a casino prize going up to Tahoe. So it's way cool, but uh, as opposed to a car or a motorcycle or something like that, because of the area, they want us to do a snowmobile. You gotta be kidding me. No, and I, oh. we've never done one. Oh, I love them. I know you are a <laughs> snowmobile guy. I love it. So I need your approval before it goes, cool. just to make sure we're on the cool, right track. Cool. I think it's cool, but you know, what do I know about snowmobiles? <laughs> right. Honest opinion, man, tell me what you think. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> That's what I like Whoa. to hear. Oh. Even though the snowmobile is a brand new state-of-the-art vehicle, it was still a challenge. The client wanted something awesome, yet understated. Not the easiest combo. We tried recruiting Horny Mike, which was an epic fail. And Ryan stepped in to do an awesomely understated paint job that I think is perfect. This thing went from black to arctic cool blue, and the graphics make it look like it's already flying through the snow, even though it's sitting here in the Las Vegas sun. It is beautiful. All right, you're a snowmobile guy. When you look at this, what do you see? 
I think it's a skidoo. It is a skidoo, that yeah. I know. Okay, I think it's a skidoo and it's a summit. Because I can't believe all the suspension and all the travel on the track and yeah. stuff in the back. Yeah. It's insane. And you use it. And but it in the goes snow. anywhere. You up, down, over, under, around. Really? It does it all. Yeah. yeah. Can I sit on it? Yeah, dude. Do, do, do whatever you think. Oh, yeah. They got a grab handle here. You ride it like this on a side, it's called side hilling. And you're ripping it and you're kicking the rear. You're kidding while you're me. Steering. Yeah. I think it's like a, probably a 900cc. Wow. And it's fuel injected, so they just boom, hit go. the button and go. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. The whole object of the game when it came time to paint this, the casino said, you know, we want a Count's Customs painted snowmobile, but we want it to be conservative, but cool. Right, and you nailed it. Here's what happened. Definitely. We were going to teach Horny Mike a lesson as to we need you, Mike, to be corporate conservative but cool. And I think half of his head exploded yeah. because he couldn't, <laughs> he couldn't wrap his mind around that. For over an hour, you know what I've been doing? Well, I've been drawing this up. Come on, dude. And this one. You get my point? You're not or should even I go on? Right. You're staring at blank page. Because that's what's, that's what's up here. It's a simple job, yeah. though. They're corporate graphics. When it comes to this corporate thing, I mean, we got we to gotta do a paint job that, well, I don't understand technically. Oh, no, it's a we. This was a you job, not a we job. You just do that, I'll do this, we'll both get the job done, and everybody will learn to stop asking me to do things that I don't do. Doesn't that kind of put you out of a job? <laughs> and it was an epic fail. He couldn't do it for beans, so this is, of course, Ryan. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. Yeah. Ryan Much swooped faster. in to save the day. Anyways, you approve? Oh, my gosh. I totally approve. So cool. I just want to ride it to Tahoe. <laughs> I love it. That makes me feel good because we can ship it with, yeah. with not even thinking twice. Yeah. It's yeah. conservative, no horns. Yeah. It's good. Snowmobile. We did one. I love it. Davey digs it. Client's going to love it. It's a good day, man. I'm just so thankful that Ryan came in and saved the day. All yeah. right, well then let's call the shipping company. Yeah. Let's get it out yeah, of here. Right. Let's get cool. it on its way. I, cool. Cool. Davey, cool. I appreciate you thinking of me. Oh, dude, always. I just, like I said, I needed, I needed somebody that knows what they are. Yeah. Cool. Tell me if it was right. Oof. Kevin Mack, come with me, brother. I want to talk to you about the 41 Buick. Wow, this thing is looking fantastic. Bro, we're building a way cool 41 Buick for a very special family who's going to take this car, auction it off, and raise some money, and try to raise awareness for a horrible disease that unfortunately their daughter is suffering from. Well, my guys have really stepped up. We're showing off what we're really about here at Counts Customs. So right now, I'm going to get with my man, Kevin, and see what I can do to help make this project even more special. It is coming out fantastic. That's part of the reason why I wanted to talk about it. I mean, look under here too, man. Wow. I mean, this is already all just gorgeous back here. And we've got coil overed and four barred and panner barred. I mean, the chassis is just stunning. What's strange is the numbers don't look crazy on paper, but I'm looking at this and it looks like there's a whole lot of money in this. That leads me to really what I want to talk to you about. The guys have been working hard. I mean, literally, you know, they understand what this car is about. Mm -hmm. uh, the raising awareness for that horribly rare disease and, and, and trying to raise funds for research. And our guys have got a lot of heart, man. And so they've been actually putting in time on their own on man, this car. We have the best guys. We got the best team. The whole team feels as if, because it's coming out so great, mm -hmm. and everybody's really happy with the car itself, that this thing could be taken to a whole nother level. This is where you come in. Okay. I'm not asking for more money, mm -hmm. but I want to ask for more time. Yes. So, if you could call the client. Okay. What we need to find out is, are they up against any type of a really horrible time constraint, a mm -hmm. deadline? Do they have something scheduled that we don't know about? Because frankly, myself and the team and everybody wants to spend more time on this and if you can you know find that out for me and if they're cool with that yeah we will take it to another level which will only make it more valuable which yeah. will only raise more money for research mm -hmm. against this horrible disease man that that is terrific i see what you're saying and i'm all over it i'm gonna call them right away okay and get in touch with them and and find out and just double check on the deadlines triple check time. for them yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. because because I want these guys to keep going, doing what they're doing. They're on a roll. Yeah. 
but I just wanted you to see it. Yeah. So that you can see what's going on. I got, and thank you. And the fact that it doesn't yeah. show up on the expense reports. Yeah, I the know. Guys, the guys are just doing this. Money's not an issue on this one, man. My guys get it, and we're going all out on this. We want this car to be able to raise as much money as it possibly can at auction to help this family out with this cause. And I know my man Kevin, he's going to make it happen. He'll figure it out. Beautiful. Easy. Beautiful. A customer came into the shop a while back and wanted to bring his beloved 1954 Harley Davidson Panhead back to life. Let me tell you something, a bike that old, that's still running, that's a rare thing, man. So we wanted to make sure that we preserve the cool charm of this beautiful old scoop. Paul and his wife Susan are here today to pick her up and frankly, I can't wait to see the look on their faces when they see what we've done to that beautiful Panhead. How you doing today, brother? Doing great. Paul, doing great. good to see you, my man. Susan, nice to meet you. it's a pleasure, nice absolute pleasure. 54 Panhead, yeah. why? I saw this bike for sale. I ran across it accidentally. OK. And it just brings me back to my childhood with my dad working in the garage. And I went home, and I told my wife Susan about it. And I okay. just raved, you don't see these for sale anymore. We kept finding reasons to go back to the shop yeah. all week long. Yeah. And finally, at the end of the week, she said, just shut up and go buy the bike. <laughs> I like that. Susan, thank you. That was a good call. It was. Absolutely. So was I didn't have to sit, tell me twice. Have you been riding prior to for a period of time? Oh, yeah. I've been riding for 43 years. Oh, okay. you know, gotcha. So. You ready to see this thing? Oh, yes. Yes, please, Yes, definitely. Please. Well, let's spin around, because it's actually going to come from over here. This is this is it. Shannon, come on, man. Bring it out. There you go. Check this out. Ready to see this thing? Oh yes, yes, please, yes definitely. Please. Well, let's spin around because it's actually going to come from over here. Shannon, come on, man, bring it out! Believe it or not, that's the same bike. That is hard to believe. <laughs> I would never have guessed it. Hard to believe. This is stunning. This is gorgeous. Shannon and Ryan nailed the original vibe of this bike by creating a brand new vintage masterpiece while staying true to the Panhead's roots. Shannon fully restored all the mechanics so that kickstart engine actually starts. And he outfitted the four-speed transmission with a jockey shift and a foot clutch. Ryan's paint concept reflected the style of the time. Simple, classic, and cool. He went with a big, bright, chunky, grainy silver, a black base, gold trim, and hand-painted Harley logo, preserving the classic old-school look with just the right amount of custom love. Shannon rebuilt the front end with new triple trees for a better turning radius, and of course, kept the big tire original seat and iconic bobber Harley rear fender. Shannon, I know you know everybody here. Bunch of love here in the house. Same here. Hey. Thank oh, you. What's up, brother? Thank you. <laughs> good, good, good. Take your time. Yes, wow. Please. Bringing a vintage bike to Shannon is the best <laughs> thing you could do. Give him the grand tour. I was telling him, you, you know, it, right? it couldn't be in better hands. Well, you, you brought us a very, very good piece to start with, mm -hmm. first of all. Uh, we did have to go through the engine. Yeah. So the engine's 100%. You heard it. It runs yes, yes. like a sewing machine. The front end, we changed your triple trees out. So this one, you have way more turning radius. Mm -hmm. And you actually, the bike's not as heavy. Ryan, do me a favor. Explain this gorgeous paint. This is excellent. Yeah. It's all uh, variegated gold leaf. The silver on this, uh, we talked a little bit about mm. wanting a really bright silver that, that sparkled, but not metal flake. Right. I got the grainiest, chunkiest, sparkliest silver without any flake that I could possibly find. And I got to say, good call on that. Oh, yeah, it is yeah. definitely. It is bright, but it does have a nice dark cast. Oh, so it really shows the all the detail. And the silver, yeah. The way that the paint, I mean, it just comes out. Everything was so dark and hidden. Mm -hmm. And now everything flows. Mm -hmm. The rear wheel and tire and the chain yeah. tore the rear fender all to shreds. Oh, did it? Yeah, oh, but this is the original fender. There's a lot of time put in the old bobber 
uh, Harley fenders mm -hmm. because of all these lines. Yes. You don't want to lose those. You want to accentuate them. Mm -hmm. So there's probably more time in body working and sheet metal work on that rear fender <laughs> than all the paint and body on the entire bike. Wow. wow. But it is. This is the real deal. Everything's been coated inside and out. So I want to know your impression first, my brother. <laughs> How do you feel about it? That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm blown away. I mean, it's, it's extraordinary. Thank you. That's what we like to hear. When I look at it, I see a bike that is so gorgeous, it should be on display somewhere. And then the cool part about it is it's a real riding yes. bike. Mm -hmm. right. It's not just some, some trophy piece that hangs on the wall. No. You get on this thing and ride it and enjoy it. Where's the first ride? Anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere. It doesn't matter. All right. It's the ride. Stamp of approval. Feel good? Oh. Happy? Yes. All right. It, it, it's the same bike, but it's such oh, a different it's, bike, oh. isn't it? It is. <laughs> it's Thank the you. Team. Thank you. The team Thank you. Team here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. A classic bike for a classic couple, man. Paul and Susan are stoked about this bike. That makes me happy, man. I hope Paul has hours of fun riding this gorgeous, tricked out, sexy, 54 pan head. Let's go to the office. Let's uh, fill out some final paperwork and get you on the road. Excellent. Cool? Yeah. Cool. There you are. What's happening? I was checking on you to see what kind of ideas we got for the interior, because I got a dash ready to paint. We're hot riding a 1941 Buick to be auctioned off at charity to help find a cure for a disease that our client's daughter has. So naturally, we're going all out on this car. And of course, that means all the plans have changed. It's not gonna be orange on the outside with tan interior, which means I have to get with Bob to make sure we're all on the same page so this car makes a ton of money when it goes to auction. So with all the interior, is this just like typical cover the old door panels and all that good well, stuff? Well, here's the thing with it. What you see is what I have. I have to make everything. We have nothing. I've got to make the trim. I've got to make the panels from start to finish. This is a full custom handmade Everything interior. on here is everything handmade, full interior. But the interior is going to be predominantly black. Yeah, tuxedo Leather. black. Leather. And a little orange, a little flavor. Could you say it was going orange? We're doing the, the, the tangelo orange, the pearl orange on top. Right. With charcoal, but more like tuxedo black, like right. almost black. A, so, so I was going to come over here and tell you, or ask you, uh, on the dash. I'd say just black, maybe a little little orange pinstriping or something like that on it. Orange pinstriping. I don't want to do any kind of two tones, because no. that makes the dash we're married to it, anything that happens to it, it's here. Yeah. And on a side note of that, you know, our big sponsor, our car audio sponsor is DLS. Yeah. They've got an extremely rare, high-end, 40th anniversary amplifiers that they've given me for this car. They're black with gold. Seriously. Real expensive. The orange has gold pearl in it, and I can bump up that a little more with gold leaf. This thing needs to grab people's eyes, grab their attention, look, Super, super classy, super expensive. Right. Does all the proceeds to this go to a foundation for one in particular kid that has a very, very rare disease? Right. Bringing awareness to that rare disease. Right. right. And that's that's why I wanted to do crazy one off interior. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to have the dash for another day. You can have that tomorrow. Can I keep the guys keep locking on, on it while keep you're in Keep them on it. I'm in and out. All right, cool. Because I need this in the booth. I know. Like, Yesterday. I need it over there. <laughs> Two days ago. OK, we're all on the same page now, and this book just keeps getting better and better. Ghetto Bob called his people, and they are donating a very high-end stereo system for this car. This car might be for charity, but by no means is it a charity case. This is a straight-up show car. All right, man. All right. I'll all right, I'm doing you. If you need anything from me, just, just follow at me. Done deal. When I bought my 41 Buick a while back, I had no idea what I was going to do with this car. But like I say, everything's got a reason. Fast forward, Zach and Lana, special couple, come to me out of Miami. They wanted a car to build, to auction off, to raise awareness for a very special purpose. Man, I personally decided we're going to step this ride up. I wanted to go crazy because this car's got a purpose. It's got a reason. Now, after hundreds of hours of body, paint, interior, mechanical, man, this car is gorgeous. Zach and Lana are here to check out this amazing ride. I can't wait to see what they think of it.
Lana, how are you? I'm doing fabulous. How You're are you? A, I'm fantastic. Zach, how you doing, bro? Super duper. Fantastic. Very excited. So, thank you again for trusting us with this project. First off, how is Sky doing? Sky, she's doing very, very well. Okay. Her last MRI, it showed she has uh, many more tumors growing. But the great news is none of the tumors have caused paralysis yet, thank God. Okay. She doesn't actually know she has the disease because okay. I want her to have a happy childhood that no worries. And this is our job to worry about. Yeah. She's happy, she's healthy, and she laughs a lot. Okay, yeah. that's a beautiful thing, which leads us to the awareness of this disease that we're talking about. It's neurofibromatosis type 2. It's also called NF2. We've had some great science and great cutting-edge stuff that Lana's been doing, and I'm really proud of her. We also have four other children we're working with, and we're going to start testing on many different compounds, viruses, so we can try to find something for these children that have this disease. By doing something crazy like this, there's a whole different type of awareness. It's, it's, it, it, it gets people drawn in as to the purpose of why did you build this car? You built this car because you're going to auction it, correct? Yeah, exactly. We're, we're going to auction it off. Okay. And, to raise uh, money for NF2. Yeah. You guys trusted us with this. I got to let you know, before the door opens, this project has, has been very special. Before we got together here, we all met behind that door and prayed that this car will accomplish what it needs to do. So. Thank you. Thank you very talking. much. If you guys ready to see this car. Yes. I'm freaking out a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to laugh or cry or scream. I don't know what's going to happen. Sure. Come on up here. Come see this baby. OK. Ryan, my man, bring it out, baby. There's so many cool touches on this car. Oh, my god. Can I run to it? <laughs> brother, do whatever. I want you to take your time and just enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Make yourself at home, please. Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. My guys really went above and beyond on this one, man. Turning this 41 Buick Coupe inside out, ending up with a perfect blend of updated performance and old school style that anyone would love to own. We deleted most of the chrome trim and smoothed out the body lines to give it a sleeker, longer, and more modern look. Then Ryan went to town with an orange and black paint scheme with hand-turned gold leaf that complements the car perfectly. It looks amazing. Ghetto Bob did his thing with an all-new, handcrafted, one-of-a-kind Art Deco-inspired interior and installed a one-off custom sound system that'll be music to the ears of the winning bidder. This car's a head turner. Everyone who sees this car is going to want to drive it, and that's sure to raise a ton of money when she goes up for auction. You guys know Ryan? Ryan, you know Zach and Lana? See you. Right. I'm going to give you the grand tour. She is a 1941 Buick. Ryan went crazy. Ryan, let's just start with the outside. Well, first of all, if you saw what a 41 Buick looks stock, you'd be completely floored that this is the same car. So what I did is I took a classic color combination, orange and black. The black, that is a Ford tuxedo black. As the sun hits it in this black, you're going to see different shades of shimmering pearls in it. The orange on it actually has a, a flop to gold. Mm -hmm. And then without the light, it has a real deep, rich orange to it. And then the gold leaf, of course, sells itself. It Hand turn. First impression right now. What do you guys think? Amazing, absolutely incredible, so gorgeous. It is going to attract so much attention. This is just, it's mind blowing. Th thank you. That's thank you. what thank we you. wanted. Let's continue the tour. Come with me up front now. It gets, it gets even more fun up here. Let's go under the hood. Well, what's it got under the hood, which by the way, we had to completely modify this hood to make it work this way, but it's hiding a beautiful old school, big block Chevrolet 409. You've got modern resto mod air conditioning setup in it, which is fantastic. All modern electronics in it. You've got updated brake system in it with disc brakes on the car. Everything as far as the exterior of the car has been tied in aesthetically to inside under the hood as well. I really wanted to, to drive this thing around town, but I, I can't fall too in love because uh, it's going to go somewhere special. Zach right? is not driving this car. He's not driving Absolutely this car? Absolutely not. He's not allowed. This is for NF2 research. This is a stunning, gorgeous car, you're, and you're not going to mess it up. You got to show it off You haven't seen me drive yet. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get to the inside. Let me just pop the door. You ready for this? Just, just, just enjoy. Tell us what you think. Oh, my God. Art Deco, it's, right? Yes. yes. I've never seen anything like this. 
It's a flaming river tilt steering column. See, like, I can feel, even when you're holding the steering wheel, like, there's grips. Yes. Which I've never felt that before. That's, like, <laughs> that's really fast. All the, the controls in the center, those knobs, are all of your air conditioning control setup on it. Which but I love is how all, it's all silver. Yeah. It's all and silver. even, like, where the horn is, you can, like, totally, like, <laughs> Check your makeup as you're driving. So All the stitching, if you notice, we went interior was black. We put the orange behind the perforation, so it just pops through. But it's just so it's much It's not detail. too much. It's not it's gaudy. Absolutely gorgeous. But let's look at the trunk. But you're going to dig this. Boom. Here is <laughs> your trunk. There's your amplifiers, there's your sub, the other speakers are hidden inside the car, it bangs, and yet you've still got a trunk. It's all one-off equipment made just for this vehicle, just for us to use on this vehicle, and it is top of the line. You've, you've, you just made a total, this total baller right here. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Every inch of this car is special, and it's because of you guys. Uh, that's, that's, that's the bottom line is, you know, God just sends the right people for the right reason at the right time. Something needs to be done for this disease. And you happen to be chosen. And I think, I think what you guys are doing is unbelievable. And so uh, thank you for letting us be a part of this. And all we can do is hope and pray that this accomplishes what you all were looking to accomplish. That's, that's, that's all we want to do on our end. I hope so. Well, thank you guys so much for all of your work that the whole, your whole entire place put into this. We can tell how much love and detail was put into every aspect of this. And thank you. Amen. Thank you all. So I pray, I pray thank that you. this works. I wonder where we're going to okay. get the hug. Well, I got to hug it. Absolutely. Out of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, I love cars. I love cars in a way that people don't even understand. But when it comes to parents and their children, and that story about them loving their child. Come on, man. Zach and Lana, they love Sky like nobody's business. We felt it the entire time when they talked about this car. We felt it the entire time we worked on this car. And now because of that, somebody's going to pay a lot of money for this car. And I want a lot of money for this car. Not just because they're getting a fantastic car, but because they're helping children like Sky fight this horrible NF2 disease. And I'm proud that myself and my team got to play a small part in helping raise awareness against this in doing what we love to do.